Hello all, how are you doing? In this video, we are going to see how to integrate Firebase with Flutter application and receive push notification and show it to the user. We are going to display the push notification in a dialog box in the Flutter application. Okay, see the, these are the steps we have to do. First step is to create a Firebase project. Go to console.firebase.google.com and click create project. You have to enter the project name. So this can be anything. So I'm going to use SL Shops Mobi. Please note this we are doing for Flutter application and Android. Okay. Simply click next. Choose your country. This step is same for Android and iOS so far. So there is a little difference after creating a project. You have to add the app where you have to mention it's a iOS app or Android app. Even though you are developing in a Flutter, you have to integrate Firebase with Firebase in two different ways for Android and iOS. So now we are doing it for Android. So the application is getting created. Since our video is integrating Flutter Android app. After creating the project, go to okay. So you will see three options: adding iOS app, Android app, and web app. So we are going to do for Android app. And the application ID from app build dot cradle, you copy and paste it to the Firebase console. So this is important. The same package name. Package name is nothing but application ID in your app that cradle file and name can be anything it's a nickname so this is the second step registering our Android flutter application with firebase okay so the next step would be step 3 is to add SHA-1 and SHA-256 fingerprints anyway once the app is registered we'll go to that app and do the fingerprint addition yeah so once it is created go to click our Android click your registered Android application in the Firebase console go to scroll down go to there find out okay add fingerprint how to add this one go to Android studio to terminal go to your Android folder in, in the flutter application and run the gradle command gradle signing signing report or should be capital run this command it will list you your fingerprints so copy paste the SHA-1 and SHA-256 fingerprint to the firebase console so this is very crucial step without this you will not receive push notification from SVM this may mislead you from your application development because this this is this is the issue most of the cases you will not have correct SHA-1 SHA-256 fingerprint added there in case you have modified and you have reinstalled your app this will change so you have to add this one and it is recommended to add SHA-1 and SHA-256 fingerprints in order to work with the push notification in Firebase so done so we have, we have registered the application and we have added the fingerprints now we are going to add the Firebase configuration file so in order to connect to firebase from your android application you need to download this google services.json file and place it inside your app so where to place it is downloaded where to place go to your application in android studio copy the downloaded file go to your application in android studio and under that app and under app, uh, Android under app you place it paste it 
please note the name should be google-services.json so that should be the name of your file which is having the details of the client and other uh, things which is related to integrate with your client which is your android application with firebase so that is the important step so we have done from the firebase console side now we'll go get into the android studio side which is a coding part to integrate your android flutter application with firebase so the fifth step add the firebase related dependencies in your pubspec.yaml file go to pubspec.yaml file paste firebase core firebase auth firebase messaging and analytics firebase auth is we have not we are not using it but let, let it be without that also you can try firebase auth will implement later in our series okay now we have added this and click pub get to get the dependencies installed then the next step would be adding the firebase related initialization code in the main dot dot file so now we have added so before that we have to add firebase related dependencies in android build dot cradle file so it has to be android under android there is a build dot cradle open that build dot cradle paste the class path google services 4.3.4 then go to android app build.gradle the next level there you copy paste the multi dex so normally when we are integrating with the fcm firebase in the android module we will get into multi dex related errors so in order to avoid that we are adding this dependency to app.gradle.build file so uh, go to your app build.gradle and add the multi-dex dependency 2.0.1 at the time I am putting this video so correct these uh, it's better to use the double quotes okay the next step would be applying the plugin which is Google services so this is again inside build.gradle file okay and again go to app app build.cradle and add the multi text enabled true as well as change the minimum SDK version and the target SDK version as per the configuration I am going to change this uh, minimum SDK version and target SDK version to 30 and 29 21 and minimum SDK version 21 and target SDK version 30 and multi text enabled true so this has to be done in your app build.gradle then the next step would be adding your firebase related initialization code in the main dot dot file main dot dot file go to your main method and add this await firebase initialize app line And you have to remember that you have to make the main wide main method async then only it will work because when you are using await the method should be async and the next thing would be in the main dot dot uh, or wherever you have the home page you have to get the token fcm token so the fcm token is the one which is used to send message to your device this is the device token which is needed to send message to you or your device 
so this is unique for every device so you have to retrieve it first then only you can send the message okay import firebase messaging and how to retrieve epstream token i have put another video covering only how to retrieve epstream token from firebase adding up firebase messaging dependency and how to retrieve so you can also refer that video and then you have to implement firebase on message and listen uh, function in order to retrieve the message remote message and display it in the dialog box so we are going to do we are going to retrieve the message and show it in the small dialog box in our application so that is why i have used show dialog so firebase messaging dot on message dot listen remote message message method i am going to get the notification message and display as a dialog simple dialog so this is what we are going to do in this video now we have retrieved the token uh, just printed it and we have also retrieved the message and uh, showing it in the di dialog now we have almost done everything except that we have to build it please remember your main method should have async void main async open braces and then you have to have your firebase initialization so now we are cleaning the project and we are generating the localization strings how to add localization we have already put the video please check in our channel so now I am installing the application in the emulator so that we can see whether the push notification is working or not so the application is getting installed now in our Android emulator let's check whether it is installed so this is the steps we needed to do in this video to see the push notification our next video will be on implementing awesome notification package awesome notification is the plugin dot plugin or flutter plugin which is used to make very fancy and nice uh, push notification display to the uh, users in the mobile device it is using based on the fcm token Okay, there is a error which is pointing out to Android build.gradle where we have added the dependency. I think there, there must be some problem with the codes, double codes. We'll see where we have added under dependency section. Here, yeah, instead of single code, change it to double codes or there is a error with the single quotes itself it is not a single quote there are some other symbol where I copied from some notepad so I have changed it to double quotes now I rerun it I stop it and rerun it let's see It is trying to install the application in the emulator so now we have done the FCM integration successfully when you retrieve the token itself you can be sure that the FCM firebase integration is almost done successfully once we see the message received in our emulator or app then we are sure that our FCM firebase integration is done successfully with flutter application see there is a new token retrieved this token is needed because this is the token we are going to use to send the notification from postman or fcm so we are going to use postman client postman client rest client application it can be any client application you can use i am going to use postman so from the google documentation you can find 
the URL for uh, rest URL for uh, post URL for sending the push notification to any device so we have copied the token and this is the post URL fcm.googleapis.com slash fcm send and you have to pass on JSON which is having this token ID device ID and you can also pass some other values I am copying paste here so it has two priority and some other parameters content available and notification object so this is the notification object we are going to use it there in our application so now I have sent it I'm going to click send here in this one this has to be correct device ID which you have retrieved in your Android studio yeah it says uh, the message is sent successfully success is one it means it is sent successfully and ID also generated we'll see in the app yeah so this is the dialog we have displaying we are displaying so now I'm going to add some message body text I'm going to add text word in that and let's see it is changing this is the second message we are sending push notification yeah it is changed so we have successfully integrated with the firebase and we also send the message and retrieved and showed in the dialog box so the next tutorial we will see how to implement awesome notification if you like this video please like comment subscribe and share thanks for watching